What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over Amazon keyword research and show you how to find the absolute best Amazon keywords for whatever it is that you're selling. I'm gonna be using all free keyword research tools and I'm gonna show you how to find search volume so you can focus on the most popular keywords as you get started listing your products on Amazon. Now if you're wondering why is keyword research important specifically for Amazon, if you just simply go to Google even, and you search something like blue outdoor rug 8x10, this is a long tail keyword, the very first result here is Amazon. So the first organic result is Amazon. If we click on it, we come in here to Amazon, we're seeing a huge list of blue outdoor 8x10 area rugs for sale. Maybe not all blue, but I clicked on this product right here, I opened this product, and what you're gonna see is the product title. We have indoor outdoor navy blue 8x10 area rug, now they have other keywords here, easy cleaning, non-shedding, bedroom, living room, dining room, backyard, deck, patio. If we scroll down here, the product details for about this item, first and foremost, they have all different information that's gonna be more geared towards some of the different keywords that they're targeting. We have navy blue for the color here. You can see they have pattern, shape, special feature. If we keep coming down here, we also have a product description. So at the very bottom here, product description and technical details. These are all really important as you're trying to rank higher on Amazon. So if you're an Amazon seller, you know you need to optimize for specifically the Amazon search engine, but also if you're optimizing for the Amazon search engine, when people do find Amazon through Google, when they're looking for a specific product not on Amazon, you can also get your product ranking high as well. And you can see here the number one bestseller in outdoor rugs. So it's important to optimize all of your products for keywords. So let's get started with building a very big keyword list. Some of the different tools I'm gonna to be using today are keywordseverywhere.com. I've gone over this tool a ton, but if we install this for Chrome, that's where we wanna get started. It's a free Chrome extension. I already have it installed on my Chrome browser. The next three tools are going to be keywordtool.io, which has a specific Amazon keyword research tool using Amazon Autocomplete. We also have Keyword Tool Dominator. Now you don't need to use every single Amazon keyword tool I'm showing you here. What I like to do is kind of give you some of these different keyword tools and you can use the one that works the best for you. Keyword Tool Dominator has an Amazon keyword tool as well. Ahrefs, they have an Amazon keyword here through their free SEO tools. And then what we can do is we can create a huge list of keywords and use this free keyword search volume tool. We can submit 800 different keywords per day. So if we have 800 keywords, that's more than enough keywords to get started especially. And then you can always search and figure out what some of the most popular keywords are. So all we're gonna do is keep it really simple here and we're just gonna be looking for keywords related to rugs. You can enter a keyword that's more specific depending on what you're selling. If you only sell Bluetooth headphones, then enter Bluetooth headphones as your keyword. So we have rugs here, and since we have keywords everywhere installed, we have this link right underneath the search bar, find Amazon keywords for rugs. So this is keywords everywhere, and when we click on it, it's gonna open up keywords everywhere, and it's gonna find all of the different Amazon keywords specifically for rugs. So while this loads, what we're gonna do is come over here to keywordtooldominator.com. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna enter rugs, you can adjust your country or marketplace here, and you can adjust your Amazon department. I'm gonna leave these as they are, and I'm gonna click on search here. So now this is gonna start searching for keyword suggestions. Let's come over to Ahrefs, same exact thing. We're gonna search for rugs. United States, we'll click on find keywords. Again, we're using the Amazon keyword tool through Ahrefs. And then let's not forget about keywordtool.io. So this one as well, we have find great keywords using Amazon autocomplete. We'll do the same exact thing, rugs. Now, obviously, if you're using four different free keyword research tools, you're gonna to get a lot of the same keywords, but what you can see here is we have 231 total keywords. And what we're gonna do is we're not even gonna look through all of this, we're just gonna come right down here, click on download, and we can either copy all of these keywords or we can export this to an Excel or a CSV file. I'm personally gonna be using Excel, so let's export this to an Excel file, and then what we can do is open our Excel spreadsheet, and now you can see we have our first list of keywords downloaded here. So we're gonna come back up to the top. We can get rid of keywords at the very top. What we're doing is we're just looking for a huge list of keywords related to rugs. So let's come back over here. We have our keywordtool.io. We have downloaded all this information. Let's come to keywords everywhere. Still finding information here, but that's fine. What we can do is we can just copy all this information. We're gonna copy all 893 rows to our clipboard. 
Gonna wait for this to finish, but that's all right. I think we'll have plenty of keywords that we don't have to really worry about too many more. So we'll click on paste here as well. So now we have more keywords here on the left-hand side. All we need to do is get rid of some of these different rows and we have more keywords, okay? Wouldn't worry too much about anything else that's in our spreadsheet. We'll get rid of all this stuff and clean it up. So now if we just look at the keywords we have, we are up to, now we have way too many keywords already, but we are over 1,100 keywords. Now let's come back over here again. Let's come to keywordtooldominator.com. So with this one, we have a bunch of keywords as well, 328 keywords. Sometimes you may just wanna start with a smaller list of keywords and then go from there, but what I'm gonna do is show you how to come up with a huge list of keywords. So we're gonna download this as well. We'll do this in a CSV file and then we'll just copy and paste it over. So we have our keywords here, we'll open this file. Okay, so we'll get rid of some of these other columns here and now I'm gonna copy all of this. Okay, we'll copy all these new keywords and we're gonna come back over to our big keyword spreadsheet and We'll paste it right here again. So now we have even more keywords. We'll scroll down to the bottom. I know it's a ridiculous amount of keywords and there's a lot of repeats, but I'll show you how we're gonna get rid of them in Microsoft Excel. You can also do this through Google Sheets and there's another way to remove duplicates and just have your unique keywords through Google Sheets as well. So last but not least, we'll come back over and we will go to Ahrefs. So now with Ahrefs, they're giving us the first 100 keywords out of 82,000, almost 83,000 keywords. With this, we're gonna have to copy and paste manually. So we will come down here and we will copy these keywords as well. We'll come back over to our spreadsheet and we're gonna paste it. Okay, so we've pasted that here. So now we have all of our different keywords. So we ended up with over 1,500 total Amazon keywords. So if we're getting started as an Amazon seller, you obviously wanna make sure you're optimizing for keywords. 1,500 is a ridiculous amount of keywords to get started with. So the best thing we can do is remove the duplicate keywords. Okay, so we've come over and we've selected all of these different keywords here. We're in the data tab. And what we wanna do is click here to remove duplicates. It may look a little bit different for your version of Excel, or if you have it completely expanded, it will actually say remove duplicates. But basically through the data tab, you'll be able to find this option. So we're gonna remove our duplicates here, selecting just our column A, click on okay. 429 duplicate values found and remove, over 1100 unique values remain. Okay, so now we have all of our different keywords here. And what we can do is you can sort them if you want to, or we could just get started with actually copying and pasting our keywords. What I generally do is I will go through some of these and I will try to find some of these different keywords that are gonna be not really overly relevant for exactly what we're targeting. So if we take away some of these Nightmare Before Christmas rugs, so if we're not selling any Nightmare Before Christmas rugs, then you obviously wanna get rid of that keyword. Okay, so I've scrolled back up to the top of my spreadsheet and what you can do is go through some of these different keywords here and you're gonna find a bunch of irrelevant keywords. So scroll through, find the irrelevant keywords, delete the rows here and we're just gonna keep going through that and you wanna get down to 800 total keywords because we can look up the search volume for 800 keywords. So you're gonna find really long keywords that bathroom sets with shower curtain and rugs and accessories, just way too many keywords in there that it's not really something that we're gonna optimize for. Like braided rugs, kids rugs, washable rugs, these are all keywords that are worth actually optimizing our products for. So you may say, okay, any keywords that contain clearance, we're gonna get rid of. This is a process I generally do manually. There's different ways to do this quicker. You can look up the length of each keyword and get rid of some of these really long keywords. Let's come up to the top here. So how to make rugs, we have a lot of different things here. Let's just take our, our top 800 keywords here. We're just gonna come up to the top. We're gonna take the top 800 keywords here. There's probably keywords at the bottom that we can look up to, but we'll take all these keywords. We're gonna copy them and we're gonna go over to searchvolume.io. So coming back over to our tools here, we have searchvolume.io here. We're gonna copy and paste all of our keywords. 800 total keywords, click on submit. Okay, so you'll see the percentage here. So once that percentage is done, we can download our CSV file and then we can sort our actual keywords by average monthly searches. So we have an idea to optimize for specific keywords, but keep in mind, if you're doing Amazon keyword research, so let's open up our new file here. Okay, so we have our new file here and the average monthly searches here, the search volume is being pulled from Google, but what I'll tell you is some of this search volume is gonna be similar on Google as it is on Amazon. I haven't found a search volume keyword tool that allows you to search things in bulk like this. So what we're gonna do is just take this, we're gonna expand our selection, we're gonna sort our information by going to data and we're gonna go Z to A, expand the selection here and it's gonna give us the most popular keywords that we can start to optimize for. 
So you'll see we have all of these different keywords now by average monthly searches. So if we start scrolling down, what I like about this is that we can say, okay, we have bathroom rug set. So are we selling bathroom rug set? Let's make sure if we are, that's a keyword that we're optimizing for. Eight foot round rugs. So when you are creating your product titles, you can make sure you're including things like eight foot round rugs. Keep coming down here, we'll find some more ideas. So area rugs, living room with rubber backing. So any rug that you have with a rubber backing, if we come back over to our example from before, this Amazon product that has a ton of sales, you're gonna see like this, non-shedding, bedroom, living room, dining room, backyard, deck, patio. So you're trying to pull out some of these different keywords, whether it's rubber backing, waterproof, indoor, outdoor, specific colors that people are looking for. And the more keywords that you can search and kind of find and go through the process of saying, okay, let's see what our most popular different colors are, let's see the most popular sizes, areas where people are putting them in their home. So right here you can see nursery rugs, colorful rugs, beige rugs, we have yellow rugs, black rugs, bedroom rugs, we have rugs for bathroom floor. So again, rather than putting rugs for bathroom floor, you may get rid of a keyword like this and say, okay, we're just going to optimize for bathroom rugs, indoor entryway rugs, five foot round rugs, purple rugs. So all of these are different keywords that we can optimize for as we are listing our products. And if you have specific rugs that work better in certain areas of the house, certain sizes, these are the keywords that you need to make sure you're focusing on. And as you get more to the top here and you have some of these really high search volume keywords, like five by seven area rugs, you can also come over here to Amazon and just do something like five by seven area rugs and you have a ton more options here. So look at some of these long tail keywords here just directly through autocomplete on Amazon. You can also use Google to your advantage. So again, we had blue outdoor rug eight by 10. And when I did this, it pulls up a bunch of different keywords, some different relevant keywords to whatever we enter here. This is keyword surfer, another free keyword tool, but we can also see long tail keywords. So people looking for specific stores, not something we wanna optimize for, but Solid navy blue outdoor rug 8x10. Blue and green outdoor rug 8x10. Blue and white striped outdoor rug 8x10. So start optimizing for more and more of these long tail keywords. And if you're an Amazon seller, you'll rank higher, you'll sell more products, and you can be with a product like this one that is the number one best seller in outdoor rugs. So if you have any questions about doing Amazon keyword research, I like using a combination of tools to try to find some different keywords and see what people are searching you can also use the Google Keyword Planner and take some of the keywords from the Keyword Planner and continue to build out your keyword list depending on whatever types of rugs that you're selling or whatever products you're selling. So if you have any questions, again, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.